What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome to Heroes of the Dark Man. Now, I never thought I'd say this sentence in my entire life, but welcome to the first time that an idle RPG of all things and a city builder of all things have ever combined and actually been done well, man. I'm having a good time with this one and I never thought I'd say that in my entire life. I clown on the style of game, but this one is doing something that I've always wanted out of this genre. I'm not a hater, but what I always wanted out of this genre was a game that has that RPG core and everything is centered around the game, the gameplay, the RPG. And the city builder is there for the open map, the power struggle, uh, mentality, the dynamic dungeons and missions throughout, and content and playability within what feels like a living world and what is a living world. So, yeah, this one hits all those ticks and then some, and I'm having a blast with it. So we're going to talk about everything that I have unlocked so far. Every time I level up my uh, mansion here, I get new content to do. So I can't show you guys everything or I'd be grinding all day, all day, all day. And I wanted to bring you guys this day one to put it on your radar. So if you like what you see here, there's probably more to do after this. But either way, let's talk about the heroes that you can collect before we talk about the content and the gameplay. Uh, right off the bat, I love the I love the theme. I love the dark like vampire werewolf uh uh thing going on with it, man. This whole Transylvania uh, theme happening is just it's it vibes with me. Now every character has a perk. They all have an ultimate. They all have three passives depending on their star level, and they have a class as a nuker. And this is a vampire. Simple as that. Take a look at this art style. Take a look at these characters. Take a look at the graphic fidelity. Like, everything is so butter smooth looking. So detailed where it needs to be. And so minimalist where it can get away with. And it really adds to this whole, like, they can do a lot with their choice of where to texture, where to detail, and where not. And it looks beautiful, gorgeous, and purposeful. On top of the fact that, I mean, it's an undead kind of feel to it, man. A whole undead theme through and through. Uh, gorgeous characters. Fun to collect. They didn't need to go all out with the characters that they decided to put in. How well they made them look with how good the game itself is. But they did, and I want this guy so bad. It's insane. Oh, uh, yeah. Art style, amazing characters. Absolutely uh, worth collecting in my mind. Absolutely, bro. But what kind of game is it, bro? Let's jump over to the map real quick and talk about that. So we're over here. Welcome to the open world, man. Welcome to the open world. Uh, there's a lot going on over here. You'll see a lot of nodes, a lot of different pictures and all these different mo nodes, a lot of different uh, mansions happening, all that. But we're gonna, what we're going to do is head on over here and tackle a dungeon real quick so we can really talk about the gameplay. So we're going to do this real quick. Uh, we, we've done this one, huh? We've done this one. Let's do a different one. What's this? <clears throat> What's this, man? What's this? That looks pretty solid, so we'll get a, uh, depending on our star level we get, we'll get some catacomb coins, and we could get some shards for a character. Let's go ahead and head on over, bro, and do our thing. Uh, so, this is the lineup right here. Um, you have three people up front, two people in the back, and you also have passives that allow you to, like, uh, mess with your, uh, lineup pretty heavily. You'll notice this guy has two lines branching out of him. He's buffing these guys to ignore resistances. Simple as that. So your lineups can get pretty complex depending on the passives and the traits that you bring on in with you. So we're going to move forward and take a look at this. I want to point this out right now. We don't have to do anything in the meantime. Look at my man sprint across this big map. It doesn't take five hours to get somewhere because it remembers that it's a game and it doesn't want you just spending $50 billion on speed ups to make something happen. Can we talk about that, man? I don't have to go do something else. I don't have to spend a speed up. If I want to, I don't even know if I can, bro. Uh, that is beautiful. Oh, we can, we can. Why would you ever want to? I don't know. But we'll talk about the rest of the content going on after we do a little bit of gameplay. So we're going on in. It'll auto-enter us because I have it checked. If you don't want to see what's going on, you don't have to auto-enter. You can do everything in the background. If you want to grind and do other stuff at the same time, or play it like a complete idle RPG and let it auto-grind in the background, you absolutely can. But for some dungeons, if you really want to get that three-star and get what you really want out of it, I would suggest doing it uh, on some manual gameplay stuff. So now we're in here, and this is what the dungeon looks like, bro. We got through the door, and now we're here. We got a boss at the end of it that we have to get to, and we have a lot of stuff we have to fight on the way. So we're going to take on everything that looks a little difficult so we can get our beastly rewards out of it, man. Simple as that. We're going on in. We're going to see what's happening. Now, combat. Flashy and beautiful, man. Look at the skills going off. Look at the slow motion that happens. The, the animations are just absolutely gorgeous. The effects are gorgeous for how, like, simplistic they went. They really made them pop with the art style, man. And that dude just freeze frame right there as we get our victory and we move forward. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, beautiful. Like, the backdrops, perfect. And this isn't a jumper. This isn't like, uh, like, oh my god, like, this is the, like, bro, like, I'm so excited. And you can hear it in my voice. I'm so excited. 
Because I've never liked a game like this before. Ever. Never, ever, ever have I liked a game like this. And I don't know what to do with myself now, bro. Like, I I just want to play it. And that is something completely new for me. <laughs> That's something completely new. I, usually I film these games, like this style of game, and I never touch it again because I don't, like, I think someone will like it, but I don't. This is the first time that I've genuinely liked it. We're going to go ahead and heal our squad up a little bit with this one. I feel like that's the best way to handle things and move on. We do have a dude dead. It shouldn't end up mattering. We should be able to take this guy on. We're through the labyrinth mode. This is a dungeon. There's a group of different dungeons. They give you all kinds of different rewards. There's a billion of them on the map. But there's more content than just dungeons, man. There's more content than just that. So let's see if we can even get through here. Our nuker just rains fire down on the wrong target. It is what it is. Uh, it does rock the dynamic combat. It isn't just like static hold still and do things. Although that's uh, probably the poorest time for me to say that when we're down to nothing but range units. But it is dynamic combat, which is actually the only way I really like my idle RPGs combat. I don't like it when they just hold still and attack each other. You feel me? Either way, we're through it. Uh, we didn't three-star it. <clears throat> we did end up losing somebody, which sucks. But if you lose somebody, you'll see this wounded thing right here. If someone dies in combat, they get wounded, and they lose a percentage of their uh, their uh, usable HP. And then you just got to bring them to the med area and heal them up. It's very fast to do as well. We're already back. But there's more going on than just that, man. So let's go ahead and talk about a little bit more of the content while we send our people out to do a little bit of a auto farm for some of this level up material so we can talk about the upgrade system as well. Send these guys over here. Go ahead and attack that one. It's going to cost us six energy. This is pretty much the only place to spend energy. So we may as freaking well. They're going to do their own thing and we're going to let them do that in the background while we talk about the rest of the content and then the city building, man. So there's these forts over here. I don't know what they do, but you occupy them. You occupy them. I'm not at throne level 8 yet. I have no clue. But you can take them from other people. Just like you can attack other people's bases. Now this big thing, the elephant in the room, is a guild uh, capital. So if your guild captures this, you have to defend it. And as long as you have it available to your guild, and it's yours, uh, you get 4% max HP for your nukers. Uh, every single one of these gives you a different bonus. And you can level them up as well uh, for different factions. Like these guys over here. DW in the house. Uh, yeah, we don't have auto enter, so we don't actually go in instantly to that uh, piece of combat they went to. That works for dungeons as well. You can auto grind the dungeons without going into them if you so choose, but you might not get everything out of them. Uh, these guys have this building right here. They have 4% max HP for bruisers, and as you can see, they're gooned up over here. They are powered up, man, and you can set yourself anywhere on the map. They all set themselves right next to this capital to keep it held down. What else is there? Well, there's mines. Uh, you can attack other people while they're taking a mine. Simple as that. You can go ahead and scout to see like what they got going on for them. You can see it instantly right in here. Uh, this person would actually be an easy kill if we so choose. And honestly, I would kind of like to, but I need to get to throne level 7 to do it. And I can start attacking people that are taking uh, their, uh, their resources. I can steal everything that they took and then farm the rest of it. If no one's at it right now, uh, like if we can find one over here, this gold mine right here, we can go ahead and click gather and we can head on over and we can gather for however long we so choose. Uh, 15 minutes will get us a lot of gold. Simple as that, bro. Um, you need all the resources for the city building elements and that's quite a bit of the content. There are different dungeons throughout. Like we got a vampire dungeon over here. Uh, we got, I mean, just a grip of different dungeons, a grip of different content, and a grip of stuff on this map that really just, like, the more that I unlock and the more I'm able to do the PvP by fighting other people and fighting for these, uh, these, uh, territories and fighting for these dungeons and fighting for these resources and fighting for all of that, on top of everything going on beyond, the, like, the farther levels... I know I'm gonna have a blast. As a PvP main, there's pretty much nothing but just, like, PvP and dungeons and, uh, farming for, like, XP, which is easy and easy to do. So, what's going on as far as the city builder element before we get out of here, man? Uh, just as a PvP main, as someone who really likes a game in general, the content I have so far, like I said in the beginning, I don't have everything. The content I have so far is exciting, man. But over here in Heroes, uh, what we just got out of that, uh, little camp we did was these shards right here. So, every, uh, class has their own shard, the Brass Knuckles for Bruisers. Every faction has their own, or race, if you will, has their own uh, shards, which are these right here for vampires. As you can see, they're different for everybody depending on... The, oh, not over here, not over here. They're different for everybody depending on their race and their faction. Simple as that. And you can just go ahead and click the level up button once you have enough, and they're instantly leveled up. Simple as that. That's the only way to do it. But the only way to spend energy, like I said, is uh, to do that. You can also gear up with all the gear you're getting. Just click the gear up button, and bam, you're already done with it, man. 
very quick to gear up. Uh, simple as that. Uh, I I'm cool with it, man. I'm cool with it. Ranking up, it just takes shards, bro. It just takes shards. So once you get enough shards, uh, which you can get from the content, you can get from summoning, whatever it may be, uh, you can go ahead and star your people up. As you can see, this girl's three-starred. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the upgrade system. That's literally it. There's a trait system going on. I have no idea how to do it. I have literally no clue how to do the trait system. It is what it is, man. <laughs> we'll figure it out at some point. As far as the city building, uh, you can produce resources in here. You can just go ahead and click that, instant produce. Click this, instant produce. That'll give me battery shards. Uh, this will give me uh, blood shards. And these are pretty much uh, for your different uh, races right here. So give yourself that upgrade of material. You have gold farming and moonstone farming, uh, which is basically just any of your general upgrades within the base. Uh, to upgrade a building, bam, you click upgrade. You might notice this is a later upgrade and it's only three minutes long. I still have some that only take 10 seconds to upgrade. Simple as that. Uh, there is also a guild. So we got to talk about that real quick, man. There are guilds in this game, as you saw. Lucid Fate is mine. If you're interested, bro, uh, we are zero people strong. So if you're interested, come on in. Uh, there is a bit to do in here, man. There is war room. So there is like guild wars happening. I don't know how to make it happen. I would like some more people in here so I can make it happen. Uh, there's a territory area where you can see the territories you've controlled. Those are the capitals. Um, there's research where we can band together and donate uh, and get ourselves uh, some beautiful, beautiful upgrades permanently for ourselves. It goes on and it goes on. What is this? Increase max guild members by plus two. Yeah, so this is an insane guild. This is very guild heavy. This is a very guild heavy game now that I'm really looking at this. Look at this insanity. It goes all the way up to here. What in the world? That is a lot to donate for. If you guys want to get in and help me with this, man, I would appreciate it. Um, <laughs> that is wild, bro. But either way, either way, man. Uh, first person in becomes an officer. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, that is insane. That is a lot of content. Guild Wars all throughout that. Uh, you can help each other out in your guild battles. You can see when people are up to stuff. And you can really, uh, you can really, it, it really does feel like a vibe with that stuff. There's also the campaign going on. Uh, the campaign is a challenge mode that gives you, uh, just rewards. Actually, crazy rewards as well. A lot of gold, a lot of moonstones, a lot of uh, upgrade materials for your units, and a lot of stuff like summons and all kinds of crazy nonsense gear and stuff like that out of the three-star chest. Uh, the campaign, I don't know how lengthy it is. It doesn't let me see, man. But, yeah, the campaign is basically there for just your instant rewards to kind of give you a strong start. There is summoning in the game, bro. Uh, the throne room, every time you upgrade it, you go ahead and get new stuff unlocked. Simple as that. Uh, there is chat going on. It's not a dead game right now. There's a lot of chat going on. I had it turned off because I didn't want it just popping up. Everyone's active right now. All kinds of different languages meshed together right now, bro. All kinds of... Th someone is just... Okay, guys. Look at this right here. Roman Verhill. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Can I report him live on camera? Can I report you live on camera? For, uh, you know what, we'll do it later, man. I will do it off camera. <laughs> Anyways, I hate spam, bro. Either way. Either way, no toxicity. All these buildings will eventually become unlocked. Uh, there isn't, like, a crazy layout to worry about or anything like that. But it is what it is, man. Now, down here, the catacombs are locked until you reach level 10. I would love to know what the catacombs are, bro. I would love to know what the catacombs are. I'd love to know what that building is down there. But we'll find out at some point. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a summon just to show off the animation. I don't have a crazy amount of stuff to summon with. Yikes. This is going to suck, bro. I got it. I, just for the animation. Just for the animation, I'll spend a little currency on a basic uh, roll. What do we get? It is a shard system. 100% uh, through and through a shard system. We ended up getting a character, though. So we're cool with that. We got this man in the house now, man. What is he looking like? Tools of the trade perk. Moon dust factories give more. So I'll put him in my moon dust factory. Applies bleed to all enemies and gives uh, plus 20% attack speed for the next 4 seconds. That is nasty. Uh, once per battle, after getting hit for the first time, he hooks and drags the enemy in farthest from him, dealing 100% attack power. So this passive is literally a skill. Uh, Dorian's Huntsman grasp inflicts bleed and minus 20% attack speed to somebody. Um, what the heck is going on? This dude is nasty. 20% damage. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, I mean, the characters are actually very deep. There are three passives. Some of them, as you can see, are basically skills. Simple as that, man. So, final verdict. I'm a fan of this game. There's too much going for it to not like it, man. Uh, the city building is light. You might notice there wasn't a lot for us to talk about as far as city building goes. It's barely a city builder, bro. The city builder is here to make yourself, like, give yourself a base 
to upgrade and protect and really give yourself the management you're looking for. And we're gonna go ahead and drop him in there. Suddenly he's gonna help us with the production without taking away from the fact that it is an open world game, an open world power struggle RPG. And I hope I showed that off well enough over the course of this. That's it for me, guys. If you liked it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me, only if you really liked it and if you vibe with me, subscribe with me. I got you covered on two videos of damn the best in gems on the mobile marketplace. If you want more of this one in particular, all you gotta do is let me know, man. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.